welcome to the third installment of Finding an Internship or Co-op with Engineering Career Services. Here we'll cover how to use Careers for Engineers, or c e and other resources to conduct your job search. These will include our Career Engineer newsletter, Going Global, our External Job Boards page, and our Employment Outcomes page. So let's begin. C4E is UMD's Engineering Career Services online job search platform, where you can sign up for workshops, browse jobs, save job search documents, and see employer events specifically tailored to engineering students. It is complementary to Careers for Terps, C4T, from the General University Career Center, which you also have access to. We recommend using C4E as it lists engineering positions. Through C4E, you also get access to resources like interview stream to practice interviewing, focus to a skills assessment, firsthand a database for researching industries, and going global, a job board for opportunities abroad. To see jobs on C4E, you must have your resume reviewed in advance. You have four options available for your resume review. You can submit it through C4E, email your resume to careerengr at umd.edu, schedule a virtual appointment 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. via C4E, a tutorial on how to do this will be posted below, or come into the office in 1131 Martin Hall, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Once you have access, you'll be able to browse many job postings on C4E. A tutorial and handout on using C4E are available in the links below. In addition to using the regular search feature, we recommend giving a star or thumbs down to various postings to see increasingly relevant roles to your interests, following companies to be alerted when they post jobs, and reviewing contacts, recruiters, or other individuals who have given permission to be contacted by campus job seekers under individual company profiles. Please note we recommend that you review common questions associated with your account in the handout linked below, as well as familiarize yourself with our policies for using C4E, such as not showing up for an interview or reneging on a job offer outlined on our website. When you accept a job offer, note that you should immediately stop interviewing with other companies, cancel further interviews, and notify all employers who are still considering you. Look out for the Career Engineer newsletter every Tuesday evening to find out which job applications are due in the coming weeks. Apart from career tips, career fairs, and networking events, there is a spreadsheet with time-sensitive job postings that you can access by clicking the red button that says View Deadlines. You can sort the spreadsheet by major and never miss an opportunity. We recommend setting up a calendar reminder for Wednesday morning just to be sure you never miss this resource. There is also a link to learn more about the newsletter below. When you log on to Careers for Engineers and scroll down to see online resources, you will find a link to Going Global, which offers region-specific opportunities in the U.S. and abroad. They offer career guides for major cities and also list H-1B friendly employers. Outside of C4E, you can visit our external job boards page linked below. We have various job boards for you to peruse based on several categories, including discipline and industry. In addition, you may want to visit our employment outcomes page, which lists employers by major who have hired engineering students in the past five years. This can serve as a place to research companies and is linked below. Now that you know your job board options, it's time to turn our attention to another important tool for job searching, networking. <laughs> 